the street. Uh, Jackie's in Paramus. Molly listens in Falls Church, Virginia. Mike is a new bureau chief in Charlotte. Uh, Jeff listens in Warren, PA. Mike is our bureau chief out on the west coast of Ohio. What's going on, Mike? Hey, Alan, hate the show. Thank you, sir. Happy Friday. Oh, um, I got is it Friday? Yeah, yeah. I, I think the soon. weekend's coming up. I'm not sure, though. Oh, not I'll sure. have to. I, I don't need a clock for that, but I'll take your word for it. Yeah, um, I got some that, that tragic event in Pittsburgh. I got some new data points on that uh, on that bridge collapse. Um, yeah, that did someone die? Like, I mean, there's no one dead. I mean, I think that's what defines a tragedy. Well, not to split hairs, but I, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, it, the bridge collapsed like the Cali mayor personality did after spending two days in L.A. All right. That bridge, that bridge <laughs> <Wow>. collapsed. <laughs> Mike brought his shoehorn today, Bill. To, yeah, he packed it all the way from the... Yeah, but he got it in. <laughs> West, <laughs> West Coast of Ohio. All right, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, no. Well, it, that bridge collapsed like Bill's marriage once his ex-wife learned how voicemails work. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get that. that. How does that... What is... Uh, I, I think it'll take time. You'll get it. I think that bridge collapsed like a young teenage girl's emotional state does after she visits the hotel room of the one Ben Roethlisberger. Uh, and I'll leave you with that, guys. Have a great week. Uh, hey, I want to understand just... the voicemail one. Yeah, the, that clip I play is not Bill's ex-wife, if that's what you're referring to. I think it was. Oh. You're okay. no better! That's not your ex-wife. No, no. Oh. She was just an ex-girlfriend. Right. Hmm. I guess he should have said ex. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And I had already broken up with her at that point, so it was already <clears throat> over. You're f***ing no better! I could not imagine looking out my window and just saying, there's some, some Karen screaming, you effing no better into her, I think, ex -born. I would have filmed her, probably, because I don't see stuff like that often. Oh, you see the dude that crashed just, his car into Taylor Swift's apartment building? Yeah, I read that. Because he wanted to meet her? Well, he was drunk. Okay, but he but still he, knew he still crashed into her building. It wasn't like a random building up the street, and then he's like, "I'm going to stumble up to T Swift's casa." I don't know if he drove his car into her apartment building and tried to tear the intercom system out of the front door, and said he wouldn't leave until she came down. She probably wasn't even in town. Probably not. He was driving down her street in the wrong direction, and then reversed into the building, crashed into it, and then ran over a fire hydrant. And then got out and tried to rip out the intercom system. Jesus. You, you think she'll the, write a song about him? <laughs> you probably have to hate. She has to date him first, and then she'll mm -hmm. break up with him and write a song about him. Having enough money to live in Taylor Swift's building, it, it, like, I would just be so pissed. I'm like, I didn't sign up for this. Like, damn it. Like, I, I just wanted to just have my money, luxuriate in my wonderful life. But and you're, a, got, you're a global superstar. I mean, you've I'm got. I'm not Taylor Swift. I'm saying if I lived in her building. Oh, I, I see what deal, you mean. I don't want to deal with her being my neighbor and all the commotion that comes with that. Like, I just want to enjoy my penthouse apartment, and I didn't. I didn't want Taylor Swift being my neighbor. Well, she's in the penthouse. Okay, there's probably more than one. Yeah, I don't know what the building. No. It's in Tribeca. I don't know. Um, well, there's one penthouse, but I'm sure there's other people in the building. Oh, you're I'm right. Sure. Yeah, you're right. And underneath her, like Little Miss Princess, ain't even here, and we gotta deal with somebody backing into, you know, Dory the doorman. Why is uh, why is he so? Uh... He's there's certain things he latches onto, and the idea of living in the same place as a famous person, Dory the doorman, is gonna create some sort of scenario in his head where there is yes, a, a doorman. That is conveniently named Dory. 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 Well, the, the doorman. But the intercom system implies to me that it's not a doorman building. You don't have an intercom and a doorman. So this sounds like it's probably a pretty nondescript. And this is the part that would freak me out. It's probably a pretty nondescript building. Probably. And so this guy found out which one it was, got drunk, rammed into the building, told cops he wasn't leaving until he met with Taylor Swift. And was taken to a nearby hospital. They filed criminal mischief charges. I love mm. criminal mischief. Beep, 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 beep. I, just, I just ran my car into a building. I don't, see, that's, I don't so mischievous. That. This little, sh all these shenanigans. How do celebrities feel safe? Because everything. You like, have teams of people. You do have teams of people, but like your family is still exposed. Or do you have security looking after every member of your family? Don't know. I don't know. Last time, uh, last summer, a guy tried to get into the same building. A 28-year-old guy from Nebraska told cops he was in love with her and was arrested at the entrance of her building. 
Now, mind you, both times, I don't think she was at home. No, nobody was there. She wasn't at home. But yeah, imagine you live in that building and you're coming back with like some takeout or something. Man, you're like, come <laughs> you're on, like, oh, man. I just like, want to. Devin, we've been over this. She's not even here right now. That's yes. why I felt so bad for all those people that lived in the same building with Rick Moranis and Sigourney Weaver in the original Ghostbusters. Mm -hmm. All those people that lived in uh, Shandor's apartment building. They're like, we're just trying to get yes. home. I had a long day. Oh, Lord God. I just wanted to come home, have a nice night, watch some TV. But no, now my neighbor's a dog. There's demon and dogs there's, running yeah. around. But like, yeah, I mean, you just order something from Uber Eats. You're like, I think that's my driver. Nope, he just hit a fire hydrant. He backed into our building. Mm -hmm. Like, sorry, your order has arrived. <laughs> hey, when you get here, just buzz me on the intercom. <laughs> intercom's like across the, the, <laughs> the intercom's in the middle of the street. Yeah. I just don't understand it. People want to meet the celebrities. They love them. Want to meet them. But yeah, you'd have to have contingencies for that kind of stuff. Because the real victims are the other people who live in the building. Yeah. You are probably somewhere else. It's not like that's your only house. You might be in We're your in house Florida. in California or whatever. See, that's what you should do, Mary, is you should become yes. friends with Taylor Swift, and then you can go stay in her New York and L.A. apartments when she's not there, when you're doing your trips out there. Why didn't I think of that? See, Bill, this is why we keep you around. To give me good ideas, like befriending Taylor Smith. Taylor Smith. <laughs> Taylor Smith. All right. Here's the first step in becoming her friend. Learn no her name. name. <laughs> it's fine. I did call a comic the wrong name last night. A guy that I've worked with multiple times at Hilarious. I did you call him. Dave Attell Dave Chappelle by any chance? <laughs> a few times. On multiple occasions? <laughs> On air? Because yeah. that's kind of my thing, Mary. Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Who was what it? What heck? It's a guy named... Uh... Ladies right. and gentlemen, Chris Smock. <laughs> It doesn't matter. It's not important to the story, but I did, in front of a group of people, call him the wrong name. And then everyone looked at me like, who is this bitch? Hmm. <laughs> this is not the person. It's fine. And you still can't remember his name. No. I think but, this but this wasn't on stage. No, no, no. This is yeah. just a hang. That, that would suck yeah, if you were fine. bringing someone up and it was the wrong name. That's why you no. just go, hey, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, man? Oh, my yeah. God. Good to see you, bro. Man. Bro, man. <laughs> Broman. Broman. Alan Cox Show After Hours line. Anytime you want to leave a quick message there, you can. Uh, it is 216-986-8903. Uh, hey, guys. Sam and Canton. I'm uh, catching up with the show on Monday from the podcast, and I hear Mary compare Canton to Chernobyl. Jeez, we all can't be from the bustling metropolis of Korea. Here we go. But, you know, we at least do have the Hall of Fame. I don't know. Maybe travel to Coshocton and then compare them. All right. Love you guys. Bye. Oh, boy. Getting the Cantonians mad. I know. Yep. I, I got several messages about that. Oh, you Ken, did? Ken's not that bad. Just we like have the Hall of Fame. Instagram. Football Hall of Fame. You ever heard of it? I mean, they do. <laughs> it is a destination city now. All right. Yeah. I honestly Fine. didn't even realize how big Canton was. Even I lived in Akron for so long. I thought Akron was like the bigger city. I mean, Akron is a bigger city, but Canton is not very small at all. No, they got a... When we were at the game the other night and we were touring the new studios, I was chopping it up with Stansbury for a little bit because he's on... In, he lives in Canton because he's on down there and and he's like, yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on down there. I'm like, all right. I mean, anytime I've had an appearance in Canton, I've had fun. Never had a bad time in Canton. I would, I would need GPS to get around. I don't know my way around, but... I use GPS to get back and forth uh, to the Belden Village Mall where I used to work. <laughs> you don't remember how to get to where you used to work? I do now, but like back then, I was like, I don't travel to Canton. It's half an hour away. It's the easiest mall to get to. It is literally right off the highway. Right off the highway. I just wanted to make sure. I wanted to make sure I was in the right lane so I can get off when I need to. Huh. huh. But that was a long time ago. Yeah, I was in college. I mean, he he he's uh whoever that caller was. He's trying to slam Coshocton. I'm sure they got stuff going. Don't they have a prison in Coshocton? Um, there's probably yeah, stuff going on. Yeah, they got a prison, that's cool. <laughs> it's cool to have a prison. No, do they yeah, have one? I, I mean, don't know. No. I'm sure they got something. Go they got a koi farm out in Coshocton. Like the fish? No, like the comic. Joe Koi has a house in Coshocton. <laughs> or may I don't know, maybe it's the feeling or the state of being in koi. That's where they farm <laughs> koi Yeah, it's the shyest farm in all of the state of Ohio. They have an Ollie's Bargain Outlet. Ollie's, dude, I love an Ollie's. 
You would. You don't look like you've ever been in an Ollie's. I've been in multiple Ollie's. I am married to a Polish girl. (laughs) (laughs) I have been inside multiple (laughs) Olivers, Bill. (laughs) So many Ollie's. My entire divorce apartment was furnished from Ollie's. Oh, yeah? For like 100 bucks. Yeah. All the, because the stuff that they sell is like, quote unquote, slightly irregular, which just means absolutely broken. I got a, <laughs> I got a two bar stools, like taller bar stools, because my apartment didn't have any room for a table. It just had like a breakfast bar, and on one of the stools, I am not kidding, all four of the legs were a different length. And I was, was gonna say, like, what is in? I, I wasn't clear what an irregular bar stool would be. That all four of the legs are different lengths. That's I see. Because that that's why it's like six bucks for this stuff. It's so cheap because it's either like right about to expire or it wasn't manufactured right or whatever. It's a you know they buy it all in bulk or whatever. I couldn't believe it. I was like, I, maybe one is a little shaky or like, you know, it wobbles. But I was like, how did all four of these end up the wrong size? I guess I've, I've, I've been in those stores before, but I guess I'm only looking at like, I've never looked at furniture there. I mean, I guess oh, I've yeah. looked at like books or little tchotchke aisles or whatever well, they've got. that you know. kind of stuff is great. I'll get like my nieces and nephews um, like stocking stuffers there because it is so cheap and it is like uh, mainstream stuff. They mm-hmm. have like My Little Pony and things like that. But, like, I went there and I got my shower curtain, like, everything that's in my bathroom, uh, my rug. And it's so funny because it's, like, supposed to be a rectangular rug, but it's just, like, it's cut at, like, an angle. So it's, like, <laughs> like a rhombus. It's a rhombus, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Trapezoid. Wow. $30 for a rug. So it's, like, whatever. This is fine for me. So they do have, so they don't have, like, My Little Brony. They, they don't have, like, knockoff. Uh... No, they have, a, you can go there and buy, like, regular shampoo, conditioner, yeah. all name brand stuff. Hmm. Hey, can we play uh, Rock Trivia Pound Cake? Yeah. You have one for today, yeah? Yep. Do we already do Saturdays? Do we yeah, go, we did Saturdays, jump ahead and it was a Neil Young Neil one. Neil Young yeah. one, right. A lot of Neil Young and Bob So much Dylan. Neil Young and Dylan and Springsteen. And mm-hmm. and then we had one Human League. But we did have Rat in a Cage. Yeah. We did have Billy Corrigan was, is a blank so in a cage. Yeah. But the people at Rolling Stone who made this fact of the day calendar, Trivia of the Day, They really love 60s and 70s rock trivia. What's today? Okay, so for today, Friday, January 28th, which American Idol judge has appeared on a Bruce Springsteen album? Springsteen again! Yeah. It's so... All right. So A, B, C, or D. A, A, Randy Jackson. B, Steven Tyler. C, Paula Abdul. Or D, Cara Diaguardi. It's uh, Randy Jackson. I'm going to go Steven Tyler. I'm going to go Randy Jackson. Steven Tyler was on American Idol? Yeah, yeah. he was on yeah. for like a season. So was Ellen. Yeah, yeah I remember Jackson that. that Randy Jackson. Okay. Well, the ran- the answer is Randy Jackson. Yeah. He played bass on Springsteen's album Lucky Town and Human Touch. Human Touch, yeah. I thought he was just a producer. I didn't know he was a musician. Oh, no. He's, he's a bass player. He used to tour with Journey for a long he's time. Jackson. Yeah. yeah. I, I just thought he was, like, in the industry. I didn't know he was, like, an actual, I don't know. Well, he is a producer, yeah, but he, he's a bass player. I wonder, does he have to go, like, no relation all the time? Because people think he's related to the Jacksons. Look at him and look at the rest of the Jacksons. Uh, what do you mean? Look at Michael and look at the rest of the Jacksons. I mean, yeah, but they all, they all had the really same surgery. They all bought the same dude. nose. Yeah. Randy Jackson, though. Fat and, like, none of them are shaped like No, that. Randy Jackson lost, like, 115 pounds. He, he got super skinny. Yeah, Randy Jackson was on the when Springsteen did his first albums without the E Street Band in the early '90s when they were just Bruce Springsteen records. He had to put a band together, and Randy Jackson was like a big session guy. Well, that one was. What are you looking for, Alan? You never seem to be happy. I don't you. know. You're right in so <laughs> many areas. He's you're the absolutely Cali correct. Mayor of <laughs> rock trivia. If you want to do next week, uh, next weekends, because we don't do the weekends ones. No, this, save that. Yeah, we'll it's save it. I'll say it's a Johnny Rotten question. My old pal Johnny Rotten. Mm-hmm. Okay. Machine Gun Kelly is going to headline the NHL All Star Game in Las Vegas. Hey, that's really sweet. He's been. He's going to perform during the second intermission. Uh, that is coming up February the fifth. I want to get out to Vegas again soon. It's a good time out there. Yeah, I was just telling my wife I, I wanted to. Um, I would like to go to uh, back to New York sooner rather than later. Show trip to yeah. Vegas or New York? Both. 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 Mm. Go to the iHeartRadio Music Fest or something like that. They got the awards coming up, right? 
about to announce all the nominees, or maybe they announced. I think them today. they did. Yep. Yeah. I think they announced some of the nominees. But that would be fun. I want to go see a, a football game at that Reliant Stadium where the Raiders play. Yeah. Is that named after Reliant K? It is. Wow. Yes, the Reliant K Raiders is mm-hmm. initially what they were called, <laughs> and then they thought people aren't necessarily going to get that reference. Of the Raiders, yeah. Right, and the band is from Canton, Ohio. So they go, well, that's where the Football Hall of Fame is, as we've already established. Oh, you mean the Chernobyl of Ohio? That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're thinking of Coshocton, Mary. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, where the Ollies is and the Koi mm-hmm. Pond. That Koi Pond, unfortunately, was irredeemably irradiated. So because of the meltdown there, there was a, similarly to Chernobyl, there was a meltdown of the Ollies in Coshocton. And uh, it irradiated all the water at the Koi Pond. But Reliant K being a Canton band, there's your connective tissue. You're welcome. Football Hall of Fame. Football team in Vegas. (laughs) Let's name the stadium (laughs) after the band Reliant K. But MGK is going to do the uh, NHL All-Star Game, which is February 5th. The 2022 Honda NHL All-Star Game. From the T-Mobile Arena hey. in Vegas, which is where, of course, we have our uh, iHeartRadio Music Festival. So that's exciting for him. I think he, when I went to the Conor McGregor fight in Vegas, I think he and Megan Kelly, Megan Kelly, what's her name? <laughs> Megan Fox. <laughs> I think he and Megan Fox were in the crowd because like, and a lot of people have pointed this out, but it's absolutely true that Megan Fox and MGK Khloe Kardashian and Travis Barker, and then uh, Pete Davidson and Kim Kardashian. They're all the same couple. They're just like 3D printed versions of the same uh, couple. I think they were... they were. my boyfriend are the Cleveland version. What's that? I said me and my boyfriend are the Cleveland version. (laughs) Tall and skinny and blonde and tattooed. Someone said that to me. And I was like, we should do that for Halloween. We should go as MGK and Megan. You see what's happening here, Bill, that Mary is uh, equating herself to Kim Kardashian. I am Kim Kardashian. Megan Fox. I drove through Calabasas. And qu- <laughs> <laughs> And Courtney Kardashian. Now did you honk as you drove by? You were you in a car with you were in a car with someone. Uh, yeah, my You got to drive everywhere. Right. When you uh, guys rolled through Calabasas, did you honk at uh, Kim's compound and I just yelled. I was just like Kardashian. Like, uh-huh. And nobody nobody came running, which was crazy. But Whatever, I thought it was going to work. They put up a um, couple days ago was the, speaking of Calabasas, we mentioned a couple days ago was the anniversary of Kobe and his daughter dying in that helicopter crash, and they put some statue there. Where, they the, put la- where it crashed? Yeah, they put like a bronze statue of Kobe and his daughter out at the mm-hmm. crash site as like a memorial. I thought they took that down. I. I thought they just put it up. Yeah, I know, and they took it down right away. Oh, really? I, Why? People were complaining, or I, what? I think I read it today. Do uh, you imagine rich people out there going, eh, yeah, what's that going to do to our property values mm. when a bunch of looky-loos are coming by in Lakers jerseys? Yeah, I think that might be That probably it. is what it is, yeah. Right? Wow. I thought they just put it They just put it up, and then they just took it down? Could you imagine if, 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 if I mean, I'm not saying, thankfully, the plane crashed into a field, but... If crashed into a field and not someone's house, imagine you have this huge mansion in Calabasas and you're just out on your patio, like oh, I'm just having a spot of tea. Ah! And then there's just a, a plane, spot of tea. A helicopter. Rich people. Down, that's what they yeah. do. That's what rich people do. They drink tea. I'm not rich, outside. and I drink tea all the time. Oh, well, you should be. You know, first of all, you are rich. Not one million dollars is not rich. You need to be multimillion. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, you're, this you're is rich. permanent <laughs> statue not happening. Officials say. That's okay. Hmm. All right. Well, I thought that they had already put it up. Kobe and his daughter. I mean, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you just put a statue there? Why can't they honor the rest of the victims? Well, they have other... Because nobody knows who those victims are. I'm sure they'll put their etch their name. You know how these things work. Mm -hmm. Man, that's rude. You know how they work. And besides, you would be... If they were putting up for all of them, they're like, why are they getting a statue? They That's Kobe? right. You'd be the first person. Hey, mm. nobody knows who they are. They should make one with them all holding hands together. It's a big statue. Yeah. No expense. I do like how we can never pin Pound Cake down. Because if we're on one side, he will organically be on the other side. <laughs> and if we're on the side that we think he would be on, he will still organically be on the other side of that argument. 
He is an enigma. Wrapped in a riddle. Wrapped in a mystery. I've got to take a break. If you want to get a text 